Hello and welcome to another video from RL. In this video we're going to show you how to do some basic uh, setup with the uh, for elevated track with the Hornby elevated track piers. Now the uh, Hornby elevated track piers come with uh, 16 pieces and they vary in size from uh, pretty small to about 80 or so millimeters high and basically um, what you do is you space these out um, along the track to create a gradual incline and as you can see here the HST has no problems with this particular incline uh, this incline though is uh, pushing the upper limit of the uh, recommended specifications um, I believe we're using a spacing of 24 uh, sleepers between each pier so from the start there up each pier you can see it's uh, basically spaced about 24 sleepers apart um, now we're going to rein reinforce the uh, rail underneath uh, in between the piers um, probably with some sort of hard material like card or um, some uh, pieces of uh, wood so um, every coming weeks I'll be working on this and then this will uh, connect to the other section of the layout which I've um, already started the uh, baseboard is on so I'm looking forward to getting that started so I just wanted to show you how these um, work and basically it's pretty straightforward once you figure out the spacing and where you want to put it uh, you squeeze the underneath as you squeeze the underneath it uh, widens ones on the top it, uh, narrow one, it might be a little more obvious so you can see there, you just pull the bottom part and it widens it and you go in between the tracks Oops. you go in between the tracks like so and line up, pull apart and then clamp it in place um, once you've got the, uh, the setup correctly and all your clearances uh, the way you want it um, you basically screw the uh, the piers into your baseboard and it'll give you a pretty good starting point for the inclined track. So hope you found that useful and until next time.